Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'll be painting on chipboard, uh, but feel free to use canvas panel or whatever. And I'm using acrylic paint and just cheap synthetic brushes. So on my palette, oh, and I've already got my outline drawn on. And if you want this outline, you can go to my Facebook page in the description below. And that's where I post all of my free traceables and free re reference photos. So I'm just kind of speeding through this background. I've just mixed up uh, the paint color that I want. And now on the bottom part, I just want it to be darker. So again, I'm speeding through it, but um, these colors don't have to be exact. So just dark at the bottom, light at the top. And now I'm coming back with some watered down white and lightening it a little bit more at the top where um, in my mind the light is coming from. So like the upper right hand corner. All right. So now with a smaller synthetic brush, I'm mixing up a mixture of white and uh, burnt sienna. So on my palette, I've got, uh, from left to right, I've got purple, white, phthalo blue, raw umber, yellow, and burnt sienna. So this white and burnt sienna makes the skin tone that I that I want for this. So it's just um, the arms and legs that have the skin tone color. Um, the right the left arm is like just a little slither over there, but but it is the skin tone color. So right now, I just want to block in all of my colors, my base colors. So, um, again, the skin tone. And now the hair, the base color is just going to be the, the raw umber. And I'm just using a small, flat, synthetic brush for this. Because we're not looking for detail. We're just, we want this to be very loose and free. All right, so now I'm gonna mix up my purple shade for the dress. And so I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow in it just to dull it down a little bit. Uh, and then white, some white. And I don't want a real light purple yet because we're still gonna put, put highlights on top of it. But, um, so this is just kind of a, kind of a deep purple, or deep to medium purple. And if you don't want to lose your outline, then you can leave, like I'm doing right here, leave a little slither uh, between the sections so that you know where your outline is. Uh, you don't have to do this, but if you don't want to lose that outline, then this is a good way to do it. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of brown and blue to that purple mixture, just to darken it up some for that, for underneath the dress. Because all of this is in shadow. Okay, so I've got the base color on my dress now, and now I'm gonna start on the shoes. 
So I want the shoes to be blue and I added a little bit of burnt sienna to that just to kind of dull it down. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot to the shoes. I'm gonna put a few little highlights on them later, but um, they're pretty simple. I mean, you just kind of fill in the color. And then with a clean brush, I'm going to pick up some white and paint the socks. And right here, I'm just using a a round synthetic brush with a point on it. And that point helps me to get into the smaller spaces. So now I'm gonna start highlighting. I'm gonna start highlighting the dress first. So I just added a little bit of white to that mixture and uh, just to lighten it up a little bit and start putting some subtle highlights in. So this would just be on the areas where the light would be hitting it a little bit more. I think there's going to be like uh, maybe two more highlights on this dress. So you want to be subtle about it and not, not go from real dark to real light. And remember, this is not a real detailed painting, so you want to keep it loose. Um, and you might be tempted to try to put more detail in, but it really looks a lot better in the end if, if you just keep it loose and free. So now I'm gonna start putting in some darker shades. And if you can't see it well on the monitor, then just um, hopefully you've printed off the reference photo and you can, you can look closer at it. So these are just little subtle highlights on the shoes. And now with brown, I'm gonna put some shadows in the socks. Like, it looks like they're kind of crinkled down or something. And then with watered down brown, I'm gonna put a, a shadow underneath a cast shadow from the dress is on her legs so um, I want this to be watered down so that it's not too bold and then this this same watered down brown will separate the legs and kind of put some shadows on them
and this also helps them to look rounded. And we're going to do the same thing with the, the hand and the arm, both arms. Start putting some highlights into the hair. And I'm just using the tip of the brush, the tip of the round brush and barely touching the canvas. If you press down too hard, those bristles will spread apart and make a big thick line. So if you want a thin line, it's just very light pressure. Now for the really bold highlights. So I'm picking up quite a bit of white paint on the clean brush and with the very tip of the brush um, I'm just putting in some really bold highlights mostly on the upper right edge so where the where the light would be hitting. And this is what's going to make it look like it's really bright and sunny outside. Again, this is a very light touch. Okay, so now um, I'm mixing up a really, really pale purple to add one more highlight shade to the, to the dress. And then with watered down white, um, I can come back and put some subtle highlights on the skin or on anything that you want subtle highlights on. You can just water down the white and um, just lightly brush it on. So that's it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this painting. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and God bless you.